Hey guys, I'm Tom. I've got a unboxing and product review video for you today. So I've just bought myself a new uh, Orca wetsuit. Now these kind of wetsuits, they're designed for open water swimming, um, possibly used for very warm water, lightweight sort of free diving, things like that. They're really thin, they're flexible. And the idea about these suits is they cut low around the neck and cut low around the, the cuffs and they um, are designed for real freedom of movement while swimming. They're not designed for keeping you warm because they, they're meant for use in scenarios when you're burning a lot of energy like open water swimming as opposed to diving where you're not actually physically moving very much. So you need a lot of insulation. Really handy suits to have. I like these kind of things for kayaking uh, where you just need some sort of waterproof protection, take off the chill, or as I say, for free diving in warm waters. So I've had these in the past. In fact, my last one got eaten by mice in the shed. And then when I asked them to use it, it had big holes in it. So I know this brand, Orca, it's a good brand, but this is a nice new one. So this video is, if you're interested in buying this suit, here's what you get out of the box. I'll show you my experience. This suit is called the Open Water Core, and it costs me 135 pounds. We're currently in uh, June, 2020. Um, 135 pounds, that's straight off the Orca website, maybe more or less, depending on where you buy it. But anyway, let's open the box, let's get this thing out, have a look at it, we'll try it on, and then we'll get out in the sea and uh, see how it fares. So, right, let's slash into this. Okay, slide past the parcel, there's another box. There you go, open water core. That's what we're talking about here. A load of stuff about killer whales written on the box. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so let's check this bad boy out. So it's Yamamoto neoprene. That may or may not mean something to you, but that's that's a, a well-known brand of neoprene manufacturer. Oh, look at these colours. So let's take a look. So it's really soft. It's not coated in nylon. It's coated in more like an open cell kind of feeling. So I presume that's to help you swim faster. I'm not much of a swimmer, so it's not really what I want it for, but that's a nice feature. These underarm parts are made of very thin, stretchy neoprene here. What have we got in this little bag? Oh, cool, they've given me a little pair of gloves. Wetsuit gloves used to protect the neoprene from your fingernails when putting on the wetsuit. Isn't that sweet? I don't know if this thing fits yet, so I'm going to put my steak knife away. Oh, come on, look at that. They give you a little pair of white gloves. Look at that. That's fantastic. To put your wetsuit on, I can't see these working because in my life these would just be like covered in seaweed and green and brown, but what a lovely thought. <laughs> white gloves. So, let's have a look. So I think the next thing to do, I'm gonna try this bad boy on. Um, and we'll see how it feels. And then you can have a good look at it once it's on. Okay guys, I've ordered a size eight based on the size chart. I'm six foot two, built like this. Um, based on their chart, I bought a size eight. Now sometimes the size charts are completely mad and you have to send things back. I've just had a pair of fins go right back, ordered the right size, but they were totally wrong size, they go back. So we'll try it. Size eight, six foot two. It's looking a little bit short. Okay, I'm gonna put this on, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, here we go, it fits. It's pretty tight, but that's what you want, isn't it? So, so you've got a very low neckline on this thing. This is like sticky rubber, so 
in extremis you could actually use this for bodyboarding because <laughs> that would probably grip quite nicely. Um, so again the cuffs and you, you could use that sort of rubber sleeve around there to accommodate a glove you know to form the sort of double seal of a glove but this is going to get used in times when the water is basically pretty warm and you just want that little bit of extra chill protection. This would be great for things like cliff jumping, for sort of coast steering, exploring, stuff like that, kayaking. So yeah, the size eight fits me pretty nicely. I'm six foot two, pretty happy with this. But this is the big thing about these suits. That field of movement there is completely unrestricted. Like it doesn't feel like there's a wetsuit on at all. So you could really swim and give it some in this thing. Uh, with a, like a surfing suit, a diving suit, you get tired much more quickly because you've got all this neoprene constraining the movements. But these are designed for really going for it. So this is good, this is nice. Um, let me just show you the back there. I'm keeping the tags on because I thought I might be, maybe need to send it back, but I don't think I'm going to now. I like gloves though. So this is the bag. So you can open it like that. It's super easy to get in and out of by yourself. And as always with the Orca suits, they, they put the brand on the inside. So when you're wearing it like that, they've still got their brand showing. So it's good because these are used for like races and for competitive things, for possibly triathlons, stuff like that. So they, they keep the brand showing. This is really good, but see, look on the ankles here as well. It's, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Uh, so look on the ankles here, they're very high up. Again, it doesn't interfere with the motion of the foot because this is all designed to be really active in. This is not designed for sedentary activities like diving, but um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, fit to treat, feels really nice. I don't know what else to say about it actually, guys. Uh, I'm not like a total pro wetsuit reviewer or expert, but um, basically 135 quid feels super. I have had these before, so I did know what I was getting into. Mad colours. The build quality is absolutely brilliant. You've got four, four lines of stitches through all of these and it's all, uh, it's not taped up. It looks like it's, no, it's just stitched up. They haven't taped the seams. It's not about warmth, this thing. It's about, it's about the, the a simple layer of protection that feels like you're wearing absolutely nothing. So cool. Right. Next step, so I'm going to take the tags off this thing because it's definitely a keeper. Uh, next step is go and jump in the sea. It's not a very nice day. It's a bit misty, it's a bit chilly, but the water's alright. So I'm going to go and give this a quick bash and let you know how it feels. All right, see you in a bit. That's a lot warmer than the other one I had a few years back, probably about five, six years ago. A lot of boulders out there, so it didn't swim very far, but super flexible. Literally feels like you're wearing nothing. It's dead good, it's not the warmest suit in the world, it's like two mil neoprene. I'll put the figures down below. It's a couple of mil. That's uh I'm really unfit. <laughs> it's all that lockdown. Yeah, there you go folks, that's the Yorker open water core 2020 two mil swimming suit it's wicked it's a decent piece of kit anyway if you thought that was any in any way interesting or even remotely helpful <laughs> subscribe to the channel uh, there's plenty more fun in the sea um anyway this is uh east haven near our bros see you later guys